Happy day, everyone. Here we are at day two of Connotations. I am Mrs. Lawson. I am the language arts instructional coach at Martin Luther King Jr. Middle School. Welcome to day two. So yesterday we learned about connotations and uh, we talked about the three types of connotations. We talked about denotation. Um, I, we're gonna do a quick review and then we'll get ready for our lesson for today. So let me share my screen with you. Give me a second. Hope everybody's doing okay today. Hope everyone's safe. Okay, so I should be sharing my screen with you now. Okay, here we are. We're talking about connotations. This is day two. Oh, sorry, guys. All right. We're gonna start with our poem of the day. Yesterday, we, review, re, we reviewed The Rose That Grew From Concrete by Tupac Shakur. Today, we're gonna to do Homework on Homework by Jack Kraluski. Now, this is one of my students' favorites because it has strong tone. And when they recited this poem as a whole class, they just belted it from the top of their lungs. You can hear it all up and down the hallway. And so you'll find this one to be a lot of fun. Homework or Homework by Jack Prolusky. Homework or Homework, I hate you. You stink. I wish I could wash you away in the sink. If only a bomb would explode you to bits. Homework or homework, you're giving me fits. I'd rather take baths with a man in a shark or wrestle a lion alone in the dark. Eat spinach, eat liver, pet, and porcupines. To tackle the homework my teacher assigns. Homework or homework, you're last on my list. I simply don't see why you even exist. If you just disappear, it will tickle me pink. Homework or homework, I hate you. You stink. Now you see why they like that one, right? because they got to yell out every hate, every stink. Yeah, obviously, how does this person feel about homework? Right, they don't like it. Okay, so if you wanna learn that, I'll have the words uh, on the first page of this uh, presentation so that you can memorize this, if that's your choice. Uh, we still have three more days to go, so I have three additional poems to share with you. Choose whichever one you'd like and memorize it. And when you see me, I want you to make sure you find, you, you let me know that you've memorized that poem, okay? Awesome. Okay, so let's get started with today's lesson. Today I will categorize words that are examples of positive, neutral, and negative connotations using a foldable. So what supplies will you need? Let's skip over to the supplies for a second. You're gonna need paper, pencil or pen, and scissors, and we'll come back to that. So let's define our vocabulary words. Remember connotation? What's the definition of connotation? Right, it's the way a word makes you feel. It's the implied meaning of a word, absolutely. And what's denotation? Good, it's the dictionary definition of the word. And we know that there are three types of connotation, right? What are they? Fantastic. Positive, neutral, negative. What, how does a positive word make you feel? Good, happy, it's positive. Neutral, no emotion whatsoever. And negative, that's my version of a sad face. Yes, that's, they're gonna bring uh, some type of negative emotion. Very good, guys. Let's get going, okay? So today we're gonna to do a foldable. I want you to get a sheet of paper and I want you to fold that paper in half. And I have my example right here for you to see. Uh, it's, I have it cut into four strips. If you look at the top, you'll see that it's a really small strip and it says connotation. And then you use the rest of the paper, kind of divide it equally for the three strips. One says positive, one is labeled neutral, and one is labeled negative. And you can see that I have the appropriate 
smiley face emoji, whatever you want to call it, um, beside it. So with positive is the happy face, with neutral it's the straight face, and with negative it's the sad face. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to cut your strip. Okay. You guys are some fancy cutters. You cut better than I do. Good. <laughs> so you can see some of my lines are a little slanted, but that's okay. Almost there. Fantastic. Very, very good. While you're finishing up, let's take a look at some of the words that uh, we reviewed yesterday and some new words that we haven't reviewed. All right, uh, let's see. We're going to look at words like slim, conceited, cheap, childish, bargain, youthful, inquisitive, nosy, said, yell, whined, confident, self assured, curious, dumb, challenge, hungry, lethargic, greedy, lazy, bossy, evil, team player, and leader. OK, those are some words we're going to actually put into our foldable. So I'm going to leave the page right here. What I want you to do, I'm going to go back to the foldable. You've cut four slits, four sections on your foldable. The top one says connotation. When you open the top, the first one, I want you to write the definition of connotate, connotation, the implied meaning of a word. That's what should go there. What you're going to do is you're going to look at this list of words and you're going to find out where they go. What connotation? do these words have? What is the implied meaning? So you're gonna take each word and put it in the flap behind positive, neutral, or negative. So I'll do one with you. Let's take one we've already done. So we talked about, um, Let's see, slim. Let's look at slim. Is slim positive, neutral, or negative? I would say it's neutral. So I would put it behind the neutral tab. What about the word leader? We went over that yesterday. Leader is what? Yes, positive. So you would put that under positive. What about lazy? Under which tab would you put lazy? Absolutely, under the negative. So it should look like this. You see, I'm opening my tabs and I've placed all the words in there. That's what your assignment is for today. You're going to place each one of those words behind a tab. That should be easy enough. Hopefully, you can do this quickly and correctly. I'm more interested in correctly than I am quickly. Have fun, take your time, and I will see you tomorrow. The next slide will present your answers. You guys have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Have fun with your assignment and be safe.